Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be making an aluminum mounting plate in my Shindian self-centering vise. I will be using this mounting plate on my Carvera original CNC with an automatic tool changer, as well as my Carvera ear CNC without the automatic tool changer. Being that this vise is self-centering, I will be taking advantage of the anchor tube position on the bed to have a consistent offset. This vise measures 40 millimeters in the height, 75 millimeters in the length, and 54 millimeters in the width. Once we have those dimensions, we can program an offset in our cam of 37 and a half millimeters in the Y and 27 millimeters in the X for a consistent and repeatable star position. Being that this vise is self-centering, the center position of this vise will never change. This will allow for quick and repeatable stock changes without having to reprobe in the X and Y. And having a known offset of the anchor two position, it will make it really simple to mount stock of different sizes without having to reprobe for its position. In CAD, I drew up this bracket. You will notice that these two mounting holes are actually elongated. The reason for that is that the bed on the Carvera original and the bed on the Carvera ear are slightly different, and I wanted this bracket to work on both machines. To double check that all my dimensions are correct, I'd like to first cut this out on a scrap piece of cardboard using my X-Tool M1 laser to test all the hold positions. Here we have our test cardboard template. And that looks like a perfect fit with all the hole positions lining up. I like to measure twice and cut once. So before committing to milling this mounting plate in aluminum, I will do a 3D printed version using my Bamboo Lab X1C. A 3D printed version will only cost me about 40 cents and about 35 minutes of print time. Now that I have a 3D printed version of this plate, I'm just gonna place it on the bed to make sure everything lines up correctly. I'll turn it over just to make sure that my four M5 mounting holes line up as well. Everything seems correct. We will be using 6061 aluminum plate purchased from the Maycaro website. They sell this as 100 by 100 millimeters by five millimeters thick. I found they are actually 102 millimeters by 102 millimeters. That will work to our advantage so that we have a little bit of stock left over to do a profile cut of this plate. Using VCarve Pro, I set up all the tool paths the milling will be done in two different operations. The first step will be to mill the bottom of the plate. This will include all the through holes along with the recess holes for the M5 mounting screws to the vise. When that is completed, we will flip this over along the Y, secure it to the anchor two position using these two registration holes. We will then mill the top of the plate, first by clearing the pockets for the screw heads and then by milling the recess for the vise. To protect the bed during through cut operations, I went ahead and laser cut a waste board. 